Hey everybody, Shadow Phoenix here. Welcome back to some Planet Coaster. And today, something you guys have been waiting on for a very long time. And I'm very sorry that it's taken me this long to get to it, but I had to wait until we got enough stuff to kind of start the beginning with, and as well as actually putting it all together into something that's comprehensible and something that is uh, at least somewhat realistic and kind of detailed. So, Without further ado, uh, well actually, yes, with some further ado, uh, first let me talk about what, what it is that we're looking at. So this is the community park, guys, that we started about, what, two months ago it's been, I think? Um, basically, it's a way for me to kind of uh, share other people's work um, that, you know, has been created and stuff. And the thing about this is what I really want to do is I want to take, like, something that somebody else has made, right, show it off in the best way I can, and then build a park myself around this kind of stuff. So I started out with the entrance here, which most of you know if you followed the first two episodes is the Dorney Park entrance that I kind of recreated the best I could. It's not a perfect recreation, but it's pretty, it's pretty close, and you can definitely tell it's Dorney Park. Um, and then we moved into the inside, which I haven't really shown much of yet. So that's kind of what we're going to be revealing today. And the idea is that um, people can submit their projects or work and stuff to this and get it into the park. Now, what I would prefer is people to actually like create stuff just for this park. But I mean, if you've got something in your workshop that you think would go well, then that's perfectly acceptable too. You know, go ahead and send that in. Once again, the submission forms are down if you look under in the description of this video you will find the submission forms it says something like uh, submit your blueprints or park tour and you click that and it takes you to a google form that you just fill out and it sends me the link now make sure that you put the link to your steam shop the steam workshop in there or at least your you know to the item or at least to the actual steam workshop itself uh, don't just put poster in the actual where it asked for steam link because i'm not going to find it you, you didn't give me a link I mean, you know how am i supposed to click a link that just says coaster that doesn't help <laughs> but anyway uh yes somebody actually did that um so all right now now that we've kind of talked about what it is we're doing shall we kind of move into the park now and kind of discuss what it is uh, I think I've talked enough about the entrance, so, you know, no need to kind of discuss that anymore. You guys watched me build it, and then I kind of tweaked around on it in a little bit in the next episode after that, because we didn't really have much. But, let's move in the front here. There we go. Alright. So, the first thing we're coming up on here is something that... This wasn't actually submitted, but... I needed a centerpiece for the actual plaza. And I was really hoping somebody would like send me a fountain or something we could kind of use. And I, somebody did send something that you guys can see right now, uh, the carousel, but the carousel needed something else. So I whacked my brains and, and, and I was like, what am I gonna do? All right, so finally I just went on to the Steam Workshop and I found this wonderful creation right here by Pollock, yeah, Pollock, and uh, I will put all of this in a link below the video so that you guys can find a, a link straight over to the Steam Workshop and download it for yourselves if you like. But check this out, it's got like 84 different triggered water jets. Isn't that neat? I love how those go off, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, all right, so. That is by Pollock, and it wasn't submitted. I found it on the workshop, though, and I hope I don't have to do that a lot, but when it comes right down to it, if I, I need something to finish the build so I can get this video out to you guys, then I, I guess I'm just gonna have to, so. But I definitely wanna give credit where credit is due, and this was made by Pollock. So check out his workshop, guys. He's got uh, some pretty cool stuff on there. This is a great fountain. It really, really is. Um, some edits I did to it um, is he had like gray or dark gray abstract shapes just like flat pieces right here around the corners 
I took those out, and yes, there is some Z-axis fighting there. Um, and I took those out and put concrete pieces in and changed them around so that it's all concrete all the way around. Uh, another problem I had with this, trying to get the path to go around this was a pain in the butt. So basically what I had to do to sink this fountain where I needed it, I first had to put the fountain where I wanted it. Then I had to dig the water out. And then I had to flatten the terrain as close as I could to the edges of the water to get the, the path to go around. In other words, the, the water was like too deep and it was showing too much of the edges. But you'll notice I got that water almost right to the edge of the path there. Um, now granted, a lot of the path you can't really see it, but it is, it's not that close like you can see there. Um, it will only let you put water up to so far. Yeah, but the biggest problem with it was actually just trying to dig it out and it just kept taking away the water or not letting me put it high enough. So I first had to put the water to the height I wanted and then flatten the terrain around that, get it where I wanted, and then put the path around it. So yeah, that's how that worked. Um, I guess since we're looking, now we're going to come back to that. That got, That's a pretty cool piece. All right. Uh, ooh, apparently I don't have janitors or anything. We'll have to hire some janitors. Let's come over here to this. These bathrooms, I love these bathrooms. They're pretty awesome. Oh man, I forgot to take out the archer. <laughs> uh, say hello to Sterling, everybody. Um, some I know the Bro Coaster gang and everybody else calls him Frank. I like to call him Sterling because he's Sterling Archer. Anyway, um, so these bathrooms were created by Hard Punk Core, and I did change them up a little bit. They weren't to scale. So the first thing I did was put them down to scale, lowered some things. And then I added, in order to match the bathrooms along with the entrance, I put these uh, these chimneys, these brick chimneys along the edges here. And kind of line those up down the edge. And it turned out really, really great. So, but the building is Hard Punk Core. Uh, you guys know HP from, he's working on us, uh, working on the uh, Luna Wood Park, the collab park with us. So, that is in that uh, so yeah so he created this and he submitted it and I was like yeah you know I really really like these and they were just completely out of scale so and he admits he's like yeah I you know it, it's not until recently that he started working in scale like he said in the episode 2 of Luna Wood by the way guys if you guys have not watched episode 2 of Luna Wood I know the first episode was on my channel you want to go on over to beyond you 89's channel and check out episode 2 of Luna Wood. This collab part between me, Beyond U89, and Hard Punk Core. That episode two is over on Beyond U's channel. Go check it out. Definitely, guys. Go, go, go. Uh, give him a subscription, uh, and make sure you follow him because we're going to be switching the episodes back and forth between me and Beyond's channel. So. All right. So yeah, but like I said, these were created by uh, HP, and I just edited them down to make it fit in scale. All right. Let's move on up the street. Yeah, you know what? Let's go over here. I know you guys are seeing pretty much everything. So over here, I had to create this because we didn't get any submissions that were good for a guest services building or anything like that. So I haven't put the lockers and the strollers and stuff in there yet, but we're going to have strollers on one side and lockers on the other. And it's just a guest services building. Now I took the same concept from HP's bathrooms and moved them over here and built this building here, which I think looks pretty good. I really like how it came out. So there's that. Um, now the other building I did, again, we didn't really get many submissions for the entrance of the park. I got a lot of great stuff. Don't get me wrong, guys. Um, there is some stuff that you guys will definitely be seeing in the future that was submitted to me already. And it's just, I, I can't use it specifically just here yet. But yeah, we're, we're going to get into it. So I made this as like the gift shop in Emporium here. And it's uh, fairly kind of colorful. Um, I was looking at, well, I was actually getting a lot of inspiration here from Dorney Park for this. And they had this cool kind of Emporium building, but it was just a bit too bright and colorful for me. So I toned down the colors a little bit and kind of did my own style and take on it and made it fit over here in the corner. 
Uh, now the other building that I did is over here on this side. We head across the fountain. There's so much trash. Okay, I have got to put some janitors in the park. <laughs> um, all right, so this building here, I know it's not much. I was experimenting with some stuff, so it's gonna stay here for now. This is gonna be our like first shop, uh, kind of first restaurant in the park. And it's a candy store, most likely. Um, maybe a fudge shop, who knows. But yeah, it's gonna be like a sweets place. Again, kind of, I got the idea from Dorney Park. Um, and I was trying to do some work. I think really, in order to really make this work and really pull it off, I think it's gonna need custom roof because these aren't high enough, tall enough. So I may have to do custom roof on it. I don't want to, not for this park, but you know, if anybody else can, uh, if you guys want to create a building that will kind of fit right here on this corner, that'd be fantastic and I'd very much appreciate it. So now we're getting ready to come up on two of the star attractions that were submitted to. It. Let's head over to this. First of all, check out this carousel, guys. Is this not absolutely beautiful? I mean, it's just, it's so perfect, and it was just what I wanted. Um, this was submitted by a guy named, I think a guy, I don't know, uh, King Coleco. Uh, unfortunately, King Coleco has taken his workshop off the workshop, so you can't go over to download it. Um, he submitted it over to me, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, that is perfect. So... He submitted it and then I put it in the park and then I went to go take a look at it the other day because I was going to download. He had images that were in the uh, these slots up here on top and I went to go get those and I couldn't find it. The link wasn't working. So I tried to find him and it looks like he's gone private or something. I don't know. So you can't get to his workshop currently. But uh, King Calico was the guy who made this and it is so wonderful. Uh, it originally had a black top on it, and I changed it the best I could to try to do the colors of the entrance. Do this kind of greenish color, kind of a marine color. Also, I changed up these things right here as well, the sides. So that took me some time, so I had to do that. But, yeah, I mean, he's got the lights in here. Uh, he's got, yeah, some awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Um, I'm also probably going to take and put some fences around the sides of it here as well. But all in all, I mean, this looks really good. You can see I put another archer in here as well to kind of figure out what the scale of this was going to be for our fountain and stuff. Oh, and apparently I didn't raise that back up. I have to fix that too. Okay, yeah, there's a few spots in here I've got to fix, but... All right, now... Next star attraction, this right here. This was submitted to me, like this was one of the first submissions I got, and in the first episode where we started building and stuff, um, I mentioned that there were uh, there was a coaster that I couldn't figure out how to fit into the park at the beginning, right? So I figured it out, and this is where I decided to put it. So this one, it doesn't have a name, it's actually just called GCI Custom Supported Wooden Coaster. Uh, it is from Mate Jakesman. Uh, so, or Mati Jaxman. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but uh, we did a park tour of one of his parks. And he makes these absolutely wonderful wooden coasters that are so custom supported. I mean, look at that. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And for those wondering, no, it's not the same coaster from his other park. This is a different coaster. <laughs> I, I actually went and checked. I was like, wait, is, is this the same coaster from his park? No, it's not. It's a completely different design. Um, he said he modeled it after Woden and Mystic Timbers. And I can definitely see that. And I really wanted a way to showcase the custom supports and everything that he's got on here. And not just stick it in the back of the park or stick it on the side where nobody can see it. So I figured what better way than to put it right here, right at the entrance, where you can really kind of get a good look at it and kind of, I put it up on a heel a little bit just to kind of give it a little bit of like um, 
colossusness. I don't know what word I'm trying to say there, but I really wanted to frame it well, and I really think we did a great job of that. So let's head around over to the side. Uh, I did just kind of real quick just put some rocks and some scenery up and stuff. We're not done with this at all, um, so it's definitely going to get some more work. So if we come around here, I mean, Jesus, I can't imagine how long this took him to custom support this. I mean, we're, we're going to look at it more closer here in just a second. All right, and I took the, um, he's got the U line kind of goes to that point. And then just kind of, uh, disappears so I wasn't sure what to do with it so I had a, to try to figure out what else I wanted to do so we'll talk about that in just a minute as well but let's look at this awesome station the only thing that I see kind of weird about it was right here on these edges so we'll have to fix those edges where they kind of poke out around the sides I'll fix that though I'll figure that out um, yeah so he even built like uh, this over here, with this. Although I feel like it's in the wrong place. I don't think it would be. I think it would be more like up here. So we may have to move that around. Um, one thing I will say, when I started working on this and putting the queue lines and stuff in, the exit line worked perfect. The queue line wouldn't go in. Look at this. He's even got the fly through to the station. Beautiful. The custom built roof on it. I mean, I don't even know how many pieces this is, but it's amazing. Yeah, so I started to put the queue line in. It would not place the queue line whatsoever. And I finally figured out what it was. It's where he has the uh, the flyby over top of the station. When he put that in, it wouldn't allow for anything to, to do with the station. Like, you can't change the station at all. You can't even add the queue line into it because it's seeing this as an obstruction. So I had to take out this piece, and I may not have put it in back correctly, but I did the best I could. But I had to take out the thing that goes over the station in order to put the queue line in. So you guys who download this uh, and you're trying to figure that out, that's the secret. So that's why you won't it won't let you put in a queue line. It's because it's got that piece that goes over top of the the station. So yeah. Uh, all right. So he's also got a place, and I believe this is for a. Um, priority pass line so we're gonna add that in there as well and it's gonna come down through here and connect up to that right there so but yeah so he had the the queue line which goes over this right here uh, he had to come all the way to here and then it kind of disappeared so I had to figure out what to do with it from there and I was just like you know what we'll just put some ramps down not a big deal put it underneath of here bring it out and I love the color of this, and I really like how the stone and everything is kind of going well together with the, uh, the stuff. So I, I kind of framed this with some, uh, some rocks down through there. And there you have it. So let's just keep kind of, we'll look at this just a little bit more. And here. Look at this. I mean, the custom supports on this. Uh, seriously, I cannot imagine how long this, I know I said this earlier, but I can't. Imagine how long this took him to do. This is just unbelievable. It's so good. Like, seriously, it's so good. And the coaster itself is pretty awesome, too. Uh, I haven't ridden it yet, but I will. Uh, we still got some more work to do on it, so once we finish a little bit more of the area, guys, maybe in, episode, in the next episode, we will do a ride on it. Maybe that would be a good place to kind of maybe start the next episode. But for now, I think we've shown off everything in the park. So I just kind of want to get, you know, a shout out to Mate Jakesman for his awesome wooden coaster. King Coleco for this amazing carousel ride skin. And Pollock for this fountain with... 84 triggered effects right there. That is awesome. And Hard Punk Core for his amazing bathrooms that he created. At, I'm, I'm sorry I changed him up, but yeah. <laughs> at least to the scale now. I did show it to him and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, they would totally knock the scale. So um, 
they look great, he said. So I'm glad he liked them. Um, and he, I think this might be the first time he's seeing this. So if uh, HP, if you're watching, I totally took you the design that we, we both came up with for your, your bathrooms there and turned it into a completely different building over here on this side. So I hope you enjoy that. So that was pretty cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it. This is the community park. Currently, no name as of yet. Don't know what we're going to call it. But uh, the community park that you see here. Now, once again, guys, if you have something you would like to see in the park, if you've got an idea, if you think maybe you want to have an idea for a replacement for the, the candy shop building right there in the corner, by all means, please feel free to submit that. You got a coaster or something we can put in the park somewhere? Uh, submit that over to me as well. Uh, anything at all, really. I mean, anything from like lights, uh, just fountains, just, you know, anything at all. The smallest things to the biggest things. Submit those over to me. I very, very much appreciate it. Uh, we will see if we can get it added in the park because, you know, I, I definitely want to showcase some of the best work that you guys are doing out there. Um, it doesn't mean that everything that's submitted to me is going to make it into this park. Uh, we do have some standards, so, you know, there's there's been some submissions that, unfortunately, just, you know, they, they're, I don't want to say, you know, they're, they're bad, but, I mean, they're just, we, we do have some standards, you know, we want to try to keep it realistic if we can, uh, so, but yeah, keep that, um, send those over to me, I would love to see your work, guys, hopefully we can use it in the park. And if you've got anything else like that, just like I said, use the form down below the video in the description. Click on it, it takes you over to Google, fill that out, send it over to me. I check those about once or twice a week. So we'll see what we got in there. Now this will most likely be a monthly episode, so you guys probably won't see the park again for another month. Uh, but by then we should have some cool stuff. Uh, also, want to do more park tours? You guys love the park tours. so. Don't have any submissions that I can use on that right now. So go ahead if you guys got a realistic looking park, uh, kind of in the vein that I typically like to do, or the bro coaster type, or you know Jubilee Garden, something like that. It's uh, mostly finished, um, no no half finished stuff. You know mostly finished. You would like to have it shown and have me do a park tour of it. Send that over to me as well. Same way through the same link um, in the video description down below. That's going to do it from us uh, here at the community park, guys. Again, shout outs to everybody who made these awesome creations. Thank you so much for submitting them. I very much appreciate it. You guys have made the park what it is so far. I appreciate that. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And again, one more time, I just want to remind everybody Luna Wood, episode two. Go check out Beyond U89's channel. It's over there on that. We'll have episode three up here probably next week, I'm guessing. Until then, later everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hey everyone, if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I have a Patreon page where you can do just that. You can pledge anything from a dollar or more. Anyone who pledges $15 or more gets a unique, specially designed roller coaster from Planet Coaster made just for them. My little way of saying thanks. You can also just send donations as well if you don't want to join Patreon. And you can find those links in the video description below. Every tiny red cent I make from these means the world to me and is extremely helpful. If you're interested in my PC setup that I work with and play on that you see here, every piece of the system is described below with links to Amazon if you want to purchase them or anything else. Thanks for tuning in to my videos and my channel. If you aren't already a subscriber, click that on the screen below. And you can also check out a few of my other videos on the screen here as well. You can keep up to date on what's going on in my own little world via Twitter or watch me stream live on Twitch as well. Links are in the video description below. So wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night.